Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if you're new. If you are new, my name is Shan from Home with Shan on Instagram. I'm a motherhood blogger, I guess, over on Instagram and here on YouTube, based in the UK. And your mum has been to Primark. <laughs> this is a big one. This is £250 worth of Primark clothes that are mum friendly. So my body has changed, obviously, since having a baby. I used to be a size 8. That's all like two years ago, summer, that was me. Then last summer, last spring summer, I was pregnant. So obviously not a size 8, but very much pregnant. Big belly, so I don't have any clothes that fit me for spring summer at all. Until now, when I've, I'm now I'm a UK size 10 and I've got all of this stuff down below. I will show you, I've got three big, big bags. These bad boys are what I'm gonna be showing you today. So I'm gonna go through them. Instead of just picking up the clothes and showing them to you, I'm literally just gonna chuck them on. I'll put the camera down a bit so you can see like me like wearing the clothes and stuff like that. And I'll just talk you through what I think about them, whether they're half decent, not whether to get them, whether to not bother. Um, but what I would say is, I went to the Lincoln Primark. The queues were huge, but it was worth the trip. Haven't tried any of the clothes on yet, so I'm gonna be doing it with you live. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm really, really, really excited. I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, it's all very mum friendly, all very like practical, but pretty. I think, anyway, I hope. <laughs> um, all of no crop tops, nothing like that. Well, maybe a couple, but anyway, you'll see, you'll see. Right, let's just get straight into it because I want to show you what I got. The first top that I got was just this really lovely sort of nude coloured striped top. I really, really love it. It's really, really light and airy. It's a tad see-through, but if you're wearing like a nude bra, it really wouldn't matter. You can have it sort of off the shoulder a little bit like that, or you can have it further up if you wanted. I quite like it off the shoulder, I think, but it does rise up a little bit. This is a UK size 10, and it, I feel like this is the perfect size for me because if you wanted to, it like comes full length if you want it to be like full full length but I like to tuck it in just as some leggings to be honest because let's face it we're all living in leggings still even if we're trying to move away from loungewear leggings are just my new life so I really feel like a nice top with some leggings actually does make you feel a lot more put together um, rather than just wearing like really really loungewear stuff but actually this is just as comfortable so I rate this a lot this was seven pounds next we've got this sort of blue and white puffer shirt I really love the sleeves on this these are really really lovely I've just tucked it in again because I don't really know how to style this I'm not gonna lie but untucked it comes down quite nicely it's a size 10 but it's obviously like that oversized kind of vibe underneath it I've just literally just got this Primark um, lacy strappy spaghetti strap um, top this was three pounds I really like this I'll show you the length of it underneath it's like not too long but it's definitely not crop either I've got this in a size 10 and that was only three pounds so I really rate those I've got this in a khaki color as well but yeah I really love this shirt I've just got a mirror behind me it does come down like over the bum and stuff so I do really like that if you wanted to you could always get this in a couple sizes up and then maybe wear it as a dress if you're like daring enough but I really feel like this is such a mumsy kind of outfit but in a good way like I really like this kind of thing and then again tucked into jeans or something like that I feel like that would be so nice again so easy and you just feel a bit more put together when you have a nice shirt on I feel like everyone needs a nice shirt this is such a bargain it's 13 pounds and the quality of it for Primark and for the puffy sleeves and like all that kind of stuff I just really really rate it okay so this is the next one this is probably one of my favorite blouses from this entire haul this is actually a size 12 I decided to get a size 12 because I really wanted it to be a little bit more oversized but it actually I feel like it fits me perfectly so I would say to size up in this if you want it to fit this way I really like this again I probably tuck it in because I tuck everything in but it's got this really lovely like embroidery I don't really know what the words are I'm not gonna pretend that I knew the words but I just love this detail here buttons up obviously all the way up it's got these lovely puffy sleeves they are I would say like three quarter or like trying to be three quarter but again I got this in a size up so maybe that's a little bit longer on me I'm not sure but I love this I feel so dressed up in this and it's just a top it's literally just a blouse I love it so much I think maybe I would undo the buttons and maybe try and make some sort of like collar out of it that would make it a little bit more casual I think I just love this so much again I actually think this would be really lovely if you were pregnant as well if you put this in a couple sizes up always looking at all the versatility of these kind of clothes and I love a crisp white shirt but something like this is a little bit more I don't know a bit more like ornate and I just really like it again underneath this top I just had this white vest top I really really rate these these are literally three pounds and they are so much better I think than the original like the one pound 80 Primark vest tops which are good like they are really good but I just like these ones because I don't know I feel like they're a little bit more 
something. I just really like them. I then just got this really simple like black cami. It is like a classic staple. Everyone should have it in their wardrobe. I had one in a size 8, but obviously it doesn't fit me anymore. So I've now got it in a size 10 and it fits perfectly. You can adjust the straps on these ones. So that's perfect. And this was £4, I feel like. Especially for the black, because you know it's not going to be see-through. I feel like that is, everyone needs that. Everyone needs a black cami, because you can put this underneath so much. I actually got a biker jacket as well. Let me get the biker jacket and I'll show you over the top. So this is a biker jacket. I actually got this in a size 18, but actually I really wanted it to be oversized so that I could put hoodies underneath it or something like that, maybe when it's like cooler. And the biker jacket was 14 pounds. Like I said, I've got an 18 and I'm usually a UK size 10 or 12. This, I just love this so much. I'm gonna pop a hoodie underneath it now so you can see like the vibe I was going for, but I love it. I feel like it's such a bargain and I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but it's just really nice. It's just really, really lovely. And I feel like for spring, summer, this is the kind of jacket I'll just chuck over the top of things. I'm gonna pop a couple of hoodies on now. What two? really really lovely colors as well and i'll pop them underneath and you'll see the vibe i went for so this is the first hoodie that i picked up this is beautiful like nude natural color like, so up my street if you guys know me and it's so soft so comfortable but it's like not really that thick so it's perfect for this kind of time of year i think it says on it do it for yourself which i love and yeah i got this in a size large it was seven pounds i feel like i needed this in my life don't have any like oversized like sweaters or jumpers like this other than like a bright red one which really isn't my style i really love neutrals as you guys know so yeah this is definitely one that i absolutely love i'm going to pop the biker jacket on now can you see like what i kind of thought would look good so if i pop this over the top i feel like because it's that much bigger it will fit over it and i'll still be completely comfortable and i love when i see people doing this chucking their shades on over the top I just love it. I feel like this is such a look. I feel like this is such a look. I really love it when I see people walking around with their shades on, biker jacket, hoodie. It's hot, but it's not because there's wind, there's this, there's that. You know what it's like in the UK. I feel like this is just perfect. This with maybe some Converse or just some Vans or something like that. I feel like this is exactly the kind of thing that I'm gonna be living in this spring. I just love it. I just love it so much. I also just got this one. It says Paris on it. It's like this lovely khaki colour. It says Paris and I just feel like exactly the same kind of vibe. Just slightly darker um, rather than the neutral. If I can get my arm in. Yeah, I just love it so much. And anything that says Paris on it, I'm there because I used to live in France and I just love that. I love anything French, guys. So yeah, that is me. I feel like this is perfect for like mums as well I feel because it is such a comfortable and comfort is key we all know that it's a comfortable outfit but you still feel like you've put an effort in because you've like layered some stuff and it really isn't that big of an effort but it looks like you've actually tried a little bit harder and I just I just really love this outfit. Okay I'm gonna move on to some casual tops now they're quite boring so if you want to skip ahead fine dresses are coming up after that loads and loads and loads of dresses but i did get loads of really basic tops because i feel like that's something i lack in my wardrobe and everyone needs a basic top they're a tad boring like i said but yeah let's move on to it and i'll show you what i got and then we can move on to the dresses the first really basic top i got was just this really nice it's like navy and white striped top i got an xl because i just wanted it to be one of those tops that you can pop on tuck it in slouchy vibes like nothing too tight because in summer and stuff, it is hot. Like, we want to be chilled, especially as mums. <laughs> like, the mum sweats are real. So, ever since, like, pregnancy, I've just been profusely sweating. It's just terrible, and it just doesn't end. So, I really like this top. It's really, really basic. Again, XL. And it was only £4, which I think is really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so I got this top. Again, perfect colour for me. Like, I absolutely love the colour. I did get it in an XL, and it's definitely a lot bigger than the other one. This was also £4, but I kind of wish I got it in a large rather than an XL. Although, I could always do, like, the tie-up vibe on the side, and it would still be really slouchy, which I actually quite like. I could also just wear this in bed. Like, I do like an oversized top in bed. That actually looks really nice, and it gives you the kind of vibe of a crop top without having to get out the mum tum. It just does... For me, I really like this. Again, this with maybe a denim jacket or like a hoodie, cardigan or something along those lines. And this would, I 
feel look really really nice again pop the shades on i feel like everything can be fixed with some sunglasses but to be honest for me the main thing is just having things in my wardrobe that fit me so i have options of what to wear and not just like two tops so yeah this kind of thing that actually covers up my belly that i don't want out one because i don't want to be cold but two i just don't really like the vibe of crop tops anymore it's not my style um whether that's because i'm a mum or whether it's just my style has changed but i really like full length tops but if you can do something like this or tuck it in or something like that i feel like it makes it look a lot more put together okay so then i've got this body it's like a t-shirt body i hate bodies normally because i really don't like the whole clipping situation but i did see this and i really like the color of it so i did grab it i got it in an extra small which in primark is a size eight uh, six to eight or something which is just ridiculous i shouldn't have done that but it did look really big on the hanger so i thought i'd gamble and it is actually fine i feel like once it goes to the wash it will shrink so i should have got a size 10 i should have got a size small or whatever the sizes are in primark but i really like the color of this i would just say to stick to your size even if it looks massive on the hanger but i actually really really like this um i'm not sure about the body situation but it's not that bad in terms of vpl I don't think you guys can tell me, but um, yeah, I really like the colour of this. I feel, again, it's such a basic, like, it's sort of like skin tight, which I quite like, but I don't know, it's not for everyone. I do quite like it when I'm sat up, if I sit down, and, like, this situation happens. I don't really know, but, I mean, everyone has roles, don't they? But yeah, I do really like this. The only thing is, you will see sweat patches. <laughs> that is something I did not consider. I do like it, but yeah, it was five pounds, by the way, if you're interested. I then just got the three most basic tops you could possibly think of, long sleeve tops. I got this first one, which was stripey. It's sort of like a khaki and white stripe. I really like it. It does come down a little bit longer if you wanted it to, if you wanted to tuck it in. I just folded this one up a little bit just because I prefer that length with leggings, but obviously if I'm wearing jeans, I can just tuck that in or whatever. But I really like this. It's four pounds 50. I got it on a side small and that is perfect perfect sizing for me i feel like it's not slouchy but it isn't like really really tight either it's really comfortable so i really like this i feel like in the winter i struggled a lot with putting long sleeve tops underneath jumpers because all of my long sleeve tops were really tight and uncomfortable from last year when i was a size eight so these are much more comfortable for me and these are four pound fifty i also got the long sleeve tops in these sort of just block colors and these ones are actually three pound fifty so i got it in this like berry color and then also in this like burnt orange color they look exactly the same so i'm not going to try them both on but yeah these ones are three pound fifty and they are just perfect for chucking on underneath a jumper or a cardigan or something like that really rate these and like i said my other ones did not fit me so these are coming in handy okay so then i got this like racer top and cycling shorts combo i don't know why i did this because it's definitely not me it's not something that i would wear but i would say if you're looking for something like this and this is your kind of style then the top is very very small for a size small so the size small is a size 10 to 12 and i don't i really don't think it is actually that big i feel like it is definitely quite tight on me and the cycling shorts i feel like maybe they're okay but i would probably size up if you are looking for these to be honest i wanted some cycling shorts to go underneath some dresses that i got because yeah we all know that we're gonna be bending over and all that kind of stuff and i just thought it'd be good to have some but i don't think i'm gonna keep this i'm not gonna lie i know you could probably style it up quite nicely with like a shacket or something like that but it's just really not me i would much rather wear just a flowy dress and be a lot more comfortable i feel like this is very much like gym wear I, yeah i don't i don't like it i'm not gonna lie but the top is very very affordable it's like three pound fifty and the bottoms are three pound fifty as well i think yeah they are so it is affordable if this is kind of your vibe if you wanted to put a shacket or something like that over the knit over the top or a denim jacket or something like that then that would look really nice but it's just it's just not me it's not me at all okay so this next one i'm really not sure about i need your guys advice on it i i don't know i'm not sure so it's this dress it's very i feel like it's very little house on the prairie it's very like i don't know like nice little women i don't know but I quite like it. I feel like I'd like it on someone else a lot more. I'd look at them and think, oh my God, that's a lovely dress. But on me, I'm not entirely sure. I feel like it needs a belt. Let me grab one actually, hold on. I've got this straw belt from, well, straw kind of um, look belt from H&M, I think. Let me pop that on, see if that makes it look any better. I don't know, I quite like that. With a hat maybe, like um, one of those like straw hats or like something along those lines um let me put shades on and then maybe like espadrilles or like wedges or something if you were like out at a barbecue or i don't know yeah i feel like i could i could yeah i could do this it's 15 pounds this dress i got it in a size 10 and it's very true to size i feel like it's 
it is a, a good fit but um I don't know I don't know I really do need your advice on it so at the top here it's got like all of this is quite um elasticated which is lovely it's obviously got these like puffer sleeves I'm sure you could wear that up if you wanted to I think I prefer it down given a bit of like decolletage or what was it called I don't know collarbones um but yeah I really do like it oh I do like it I need your advice, I need your advice because I'm not sure if it's something that I can wear. But what I do really love for mums especially is the length of it. I feel like it looks nice in terms of it still looks pretty, it's not too long. But it is really practical. I could bend over and sort of sort George out on the floor and like be helping him with whatever and still not like lose my modesty, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I actually do quite like this. It was £15. Let me know what you guys think. Would you pay 15 for something? That you're not entirely sure on um but yeah would you buy it do you like the dress let me know before i move on to the rest of the dresses i just wanted to show you a couple of things that i got um in terms of underwear because let's face it underwear is important and we want it to be comfortable and i feel like i've missed out on the primark vibes so i've got these two sets that one is the black set and one's the nude set and they're the invisible thongs basically and they are so comfortable like thongs aren't comfortable let's face it they're not but it's what you want to wear to not have vpl etc these are so comfortable i've had these a few times definitely rate these and i'm so happy that i was able to get a pair i got them in a medium which is 12 to 14 size larger than i am normally in like clothes and stuff just because i need that comfort in my life these are really really good size up you'll be comfy as hell and next i got again in a medium this two-piece set i really wanted i saw so many people on primark hauls doing um these but with like different colors so there's like a nude and like a chocolate color all of it was sold out in the lincoln primark i got the white set though in the medium and i feel like this is going to be so comfortable no underwire no nothing and obviously then just the thong as well again that looks so comfortable so yeah i'm looking forward to wearing these this spring summer but let's move on two oh i have a belt as well i'll show you the belt i then just got a trusty two pound primark belt i got this in a small because i tried it around my waist i would tend to wear belts probably higher up like here i don't really wear them around um like jeans but i do definitely wear them around my waist to like cinch in something so that fits me perfectly um yeah i really like this it's two pounds guys two pounds like I said, this belt is from H&M. I also then got a couple of bits of makeup. I'm just going to show you that now before I get into the rest of the dresses. But just skip ahead if you're not interested. So I literally just got this one pound blush. I also got a... I got the powdered foundation or the pressed, pressed powder foundation in a cinnamon, which I'm actually going to use as a bronzer. So I actually do that quite often. Um, I've had a... I've had this and I don't, know, think, it, don't think it was in this colour, but the bronzer that I'm wearing today is a primark pressed powder but in a really darker shade um, but i use it as a bronzer and it works really, really well for me it always has um, and that was two pound and then i've got the pink diamond highlighter powder it is good i have to say i just wet my um highlighter brush and then like put it on but all of mine was running out so i thought i'd just pick up a few bits and primark is so affordable but actually quite nice makeup i'm not being funny you're supposed to throw your makeup out after like six months of using it anyway so I just feel like I might as well just get Primark makeup and then throw it out when I need to and I won't begrudge it as much as if I spent like 20 pounds on a bronzer. I'm going to show you the rest of the dresses now I promise. Okay so the next dress is this one it's like this t-shirt bodycon dress really nice and simple I love it so much I feel like the length is a little bit shorter than I would normally have but to combat that what I've actually done is popped on some cycling shorts so these are the £2.50 Primark ones I feel like they're really good um again i'm not going to be wearing the cycling shorts as cycling shorts just as on their own but i will be wearing them underneath dresses and things i feel like i feel perfectly very comfortable in this because of the cycling shorts um this is a size 10 and it was like five pounds i think i definitely know for a fact that the primark bodycon dresses last really really well because last summer if you guys remember i did that maternity capsule wardrobe video in that video I had a longer version of this dress without the stripes and I'd literally worn that throughout like maybe three summers and the summer I was pregnant however when I was pregnant I stretched it to hell and now it just won't fit me but this is a really really good substitute for that dress I'm really happy with it love it okay so this one isn't really a dress i thought it was but it's definitely not i feel like it's a top that i got in an oversized size i got this in a size 
12 to 14 which is a Primark medium I think and yeah it's not a dress because it comes up I've still got the cycling shorts underneath um it comes down low here so that's I probably think maybe why I thought it was a dress I don't really know what it's supposed to be like an oversized top maybe I do quite like it though I quite like it so I've got um I'll show you these shoes as well so I've just got these like sliders from Primark these are like six pounds yeah six pounds I just pop those on because I kind of feel like this is like paddling pool vibes or something like that maybe like go into the pool um like obviously cycling shorts chuck this over nice and baggy and um, you can even wear like a swimming costume or something underneath pop the shades on just like that kind of I don't really know I, I actually quite like this I feel like I will wear this even though it's not a dress like I thought it was yeah I'm not really sure but I quite like this idea like this whole kind of look I'm not sure how I'd wear it and maybe I will wear the cycling shorts a bit more so you can see them who knows but I actually quite like this idea I feel like I said far less exposed when I've got the cycling shorts underneath and for £2.50 these ones are really really good I feel like these are better than the £3.50 ones if you're going to be wearing them like underneath things because they are really really form fitting um but yeah I quite actually like this how much was it let me just check this was £5 so it depends on what you want to use it for but I feel like I do like it I really love the colour as well this next one I actually feel like again pool vibes is definitely how I'm like kind of feeling this so it's just this black like off the shoulder bardo like flowy Nice flowy dress. I actually got this in a size 12 because I thought the length of the size 10 wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. Um, so this one almost comes down to my knees. Again, got my trusty cycling shorts underneath. Um, but yeah, I really feel like this is something I will definitely wear. Pop these on always with the shades and definitely this is the kind of thing that i pop this belt over and it will just sit you in a little bit and make you feel maybe like you're a little bit more dressed up. Um, I've got this one backwards. Here we go. Then, yeah, I actually really like this. Um, I think maybe if I put it down a little bit more, is that too much? That kind of idea, maybe? I feel like on holiday, I would definitely wear this. Um, maybe if we get away in the UK sometime this year, um, this summer, then maybe we'll wear this kind of thing. Even if it's just around like town and things like that, I feel like this is a really, really easy outfit to put together and I just like it. I really like it actually. And this was only £6, which is a bargain. Okay, so this is the other vest top that I got, £3 one, the same as the white one, but in the khaki colour, which I really like. Then I've just got the skirt on, which I really like. I think, however, £8 is a little bit steep for it. I got it in a size 10, has got pockets, which I very much like, but it is very thin. It's very much a spring skirt if you know what i mean i actually bought this to replace one that i have in a size 8 which is more of a like fake leather like faux leather kind of vibe and it is definitely more thicker like autumn winter one whereas this one like i was thinking i could wear this with like black tights and boots in the autumn winter and then maybe no tights in the sort of spring summer period i don't really know i'm not sure about it i feel like it would go really nicely with the well with this leather jacket i feel like it would go quite nicely with like if you're going out for an evening meal eating outside whatever i quite like this idea i've got two more dresses left and they're probably my ones that i'm not sure about again so i want your opinions guys please 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 help me tell me which ones i should keep or whether i should just take them both back okay this is how i know that i'm growing up because i didn't think i'd like this because i thought it looked a bit too mumsy a bit too grown up but I love it. I absolutely love it. Let me move back and then I'll tip the camera down so you can see it fully. But, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with this. I love it so much. I feel like it fits me really nicely. I've got it in a size 10, fits perfectly. I would say it's a tiny bit tight on the top. So if you've got a bigger chest area, then I'd definitely say to size up. But I love it. I love it so much. I love this detail on the bottom. The quality of it for Primark is insane. Like really, really good. I feel like this is so lovely and covers up the leg hair. Like, can we just appreciate that? Like, you don't have to shave to wear this dress and you still look so glam. I love it so much. I am absolutely amazed by this. Really, really amazed by this. I love it so much. Every single detail on this and the stitching's like good. The quality's good. It was £15 and for £15 I would pay £30 for this. I'm not even joking. It's really lovely. I just wanted to show you like the full length of it and exactly what I mean by it covers pretty much your entire legs you've got so much space in this it's so flowy so comfortable oh my god i'm just i'm over the moon with this i don't know whether that's just because my style has changed massively or what but 
this is my new favourite summer dress. 100% love this. It's like this really lovely like linen-y feel to it. I rate this so much. 15 quid from Primark. Size 10. Perfect. Perfect. This dress, guys, I thought I wouldn't like it because I don't own any dresses like this, but this smock dress, I kid you not, is so beautiful. The puffer sleeves, I love the colour of the blue. I'm not a massive colour person, but co this colour blue I absolutely adore. It's beautifully, like the length is beautiful, comes just above the knee. So much space to like breathe and just like air, have the airiness get to you. I absolutely adore this. I thought maybe I would put a belt on it but I don't really feel like it needs it I think maybe if I wanted to like cinch myself in a little bit more like create more of an illusion of you know a waist or whatever but actually like I really like it without I feel like I do like it with it I definitely do like it with it if I wanted to dress it up a little bit more accessorised all that kind of stuff but without it's so much more comfortable so why bother <laughs> I feel like just this some glasses my literal like the thing that i wear all the time just this necklace this is um pandora by the way i always get asked about this from pandora i just love it i love it so much and either these kind of like sliders to dress it down or if it's a little bit colder still you could wear like tights with it and maybe biker boots that would look really nice and maybe even the biker jacket but if you're going for like a proper summery vibe something like this birkenstocks i am so over the moon with this haul i cannot tell you how happy i am that i love pretty much everything I think I'm going to keep every single item other than those um, black cycling shorts and the like racer top thing that I showed you that I said it just wasn't my vibe, but that's just because it's not my vibe. I'm sure that other people would really like those, but pretty much everything else I'm keeping, which is a problem for my bank account because I spent £250 in Primark, but I am really happy about it because it actually means that I've got clothes that are going to fit me, that I'm going to feel good and confident in this spring summer. I'm just very, very happy that I made the trip to Primark. I feel like I hope your Primarks are good. I hope they're not understocked and all that kind of stuff. And I really hope you guys have a really amazing shopping spree there one day. Maybe go without the kids. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I did get two things for George. I'll quickly show you those. The two things I got for George were these bibs because we were running low on bibs and these were literally five bibs for £2.80. Really, really cute. They're like towel material. Really nice. And like nice neutral colours going to go with any outfit. And I also got him this hat and it says smile crocodile on it and it's got like all the crocodile little bits on it. I have to say the kids section in Primark I was not interested in, like it was not, it wasn't good. I'm not going to lie, but the women's section was amazing. So I am really, really glad that I went. I'm really excited that I got to bring you this haul and I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.